After months and months of waiting, Anime Vanguards has finally released. It's basically supposed to be an anime adventures too, with a lot of the core gameplay being the same, and an extremely similar vibe. And unlike Anime Defenders, this game actually has models that resemble their anime counterparts. And so far, it's not a bot simulator since there is no trading. If you enjoy the video, and want to see more anime vanguards, make sure to like and subscribe. My first goal is to complete the entire story mode. I've already summoned, and have some pretty bad units. So I can't get that far, and will probably have to wait for some new codes. After redeeming a bunch of codes I have a little under 4000 gems. So let's summon and hopefully get a mythic. I ended up getting Obito, who isn't the best mythic for grinding, but he's definitely going to be useful. While summoning I managed to get Vegeta. He's one of the best grinding mythics in the game. And he has a passive that increases his attack speed by 20% when no other units are in his range. Which sounds pretty bad on the surface. But since he's so good, he's really the only unit you need to solo challenges in story mode. And even when you're doing game modes like raids and paragon, he's still useful in early game because of his multi-hit attacks. And since we have two good mythics, we can start completing the legend stages. At the last legend stage we have a chance to get Agris as a 0.75% drop. The best unit in the game. But since he is a 0.75% drop, hopefully it doesn't take long. I spent days and days trying to get Igris, but I just wasn't successful. Until after over 100 completions. This happened. 
I finally got Tigris, and since it took so long to get him, I already have all the materials to evolve him, so let's do that right now. Next let's use some rerolls to try to get Monarch on him. To no one's surprise I didn't get anything good into rerolls. But since I have Agris now, I can pretty easily solo Paragons. So the next thing I'll do, is get to level 25 of the Namek Nightmare Paragon, to get all the achievements, and around 25 more rerolls. Alright after a few hours of grinding I finally finished Namek's Paragon. So let's get the achievements and hopefully get Monarch. Somehow in just 2 rolls, I got Monarch on Igris. So let's use the rest of the rolls on Speedwagon and hopefully get Fortune on him. Alright, now that we have Monarch Igris there's just one thing left to do in the game. Complete every achievement. So far I've completed most of the achievements just by progressing through the game. And the only achievements left, are the Sand Village and Double Dungeon Paragons. And that's it. In this video we beat the story mode, got Igris, and got every achievement in the game. I know update 0.5 already came out, but I wanted to get this video out, before I grind days and days for Ingoku. So if you want to see that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.